right. Hello, everybody. It's time for Mr. Knott's Art Studio. We got another great Mother's Day gift. Now, I know you're just sitting here scrolling through Facebook, going, going, going. Get off the couch. Go get you a piece of paper and get you a pair of scissors. Go, go. No, don't move on. We're going to do something cool. It'll take about 10 minutes. And I'll show you something really neat. Go get it. Here we go. We're going to get started on it. All right, go get your paper. Now, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this piece of paper, we're gonna take this corner, we're gonna fold it over this direction, lining this edge up with this edge. Now, anytime I'm doing any folding projects, what I want you to do is just watch me do it, and then I'll pause for a minute uh, and let you do it. So just watch, 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 and then I'll say, go. Oh, wait. It might help if I paint, point the camera at the right place, right? Wow, that's awesome. All right, so let's try that again. So I'm going to take this corner here and fold it over this direction, lining this edge up with this edge. Now we can see what's going on. All right, and we're going to fold it over just like that. All righty? Okay, go. Then we're going to get a pair of scissors. What we're doing is we're making a paper butterfly. This is going to be really neat. All right, I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut this section off right here. Go ahead, get your paper. You can catch up with me. All right, save this piece because you might want to use it later for something else. All right. Now, I'm going to open this up, and I already have a line going this direction. I want to fold it over and go this direction right here. So just watch, watch, watch. Okay, ready, go. Okay, next move. So we have this piece of paper here, and if you notice, if we what we want to do is we want to take the paper, hold it right about here, and we want to bend it to where this starts opening. You might have to play with it a little bit, but bend it to where this starts to open up. So we're taking a triangle, we're turning it into a duck. Quack, 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 quack. All right? We're going to take this, we're going to push it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it, until it goes together like this, like a flower. Then I'm taking this, these two pieces and pushing them together where they line up, and these two pieces together, pushing them together where they line up. Lay it down, push all that together. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit so y'all can get a little bit closer view now. All right, so we have two layers here, and we have two layers here. We're going to take this layer, this top one right here, and we're going to fold it up. So we still have a triangle down here. We're going to fold it up to that corner. All right, go. You should go. Now we're going to take this corner, and we're going to fold it up to this corner. Take it. And go. Right. Now we're going to turn it over, turn our paper over, so now we see just the big triangle. And we're going to take this, and we're going to fold this point up, maybe about a finger width, maybe a little bit more, up past the top of this. So about a finger width, fold it up, take it like that. And give it a good crease, all right? Go. Okay. Now this one's this one's kind of the one of probably the trickiest fold of this all of all this. Okay. We're gonna take this layer here, this triangle here, and we're gonna start to 
pull it down. As we pull it down, you're going to see this side, this part right here, start to raise up because it's not, it's not wanting to behave. It's like, hey, wait, that's not going to work. But what you do is you keep on pushing this down and kind of you spread your fingers out and you'll notice that this will start to fold over and kind of make a crease like another little triangle there. So I'll do that again. So I'm going to take this, run my finger down, put my fingers in there like this, and see, it starts to make that triangle. And then I'll press that triangle down. So it has a, it's coming straight down just like this is here. Okay, you ready? Go. That's our toughest one. That's going to be our hardest fold. We've got to do it one more time, but that's our hardest one. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to come over. Pull it down, and it's, not, it's going to try to fight you because it doesn't want to do that. And crease like this. Okay. And we turn it over like this. Okay. We're going to take this corner right here this point, we're going to fold it back like that. Give it a good, the paper's starting to get thick, so we want to make sure we give it a good crease. I'm going to try to zoom it in just a little bit more. And then we're going to take that same corner there and we're going to fold it back up to where the tip of it is sticking up above our. Uh, paper here, okay? So we're sticking back up. So you can kind of see what's going on. All right. Make sure you're on the side that where you can see these flaps here. So we're already starting to see our butterfly, okay? We have the top wings and we have the bottom wings here. This is going to be the butterfly's head. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to fold it in half. So taking it and we're folding it in half. Down like that. Make sure I'm in the screen here. Okay. Just like that. Now this one's not, it's a, this fold is important to get right, but it's not real hard to do. Okay. We have a line going from this corner right here from this corner and it's going to come up to where see right where that is okay so it's going to, there's a, a thick part of the paper you can feel it right there that thick paper right there so you're going to right there you can draw it with a pencil or you can just kind of feel it when you fold it okay so that's where we need to fold it going from that corner up here where that thick paper is okay so i'm going to take it i'm going to Fold it, and it's kind of tough. Small children might need a little help with it because that paper is getting really thick now. All right, so I folded that side up. Go ahead and do that. So see, I folded right from that corner up to where that paper is thick, gets thick. All right. Now we're going to do the other wing the same way. Okay, so I'm flipping it around. We can see the butterfly's head. We got to do the same thing here. Okay, I'm going to draw the line so you can kind of see where it's at. Okay, from that corner up there where that paper starts getting really thick. I'm going to fold it right there. And we are almost done with this. We got two more folds, and then we'll have our butterfly. Mother, now I'm going to show you a few things. Um, uh, I'm going to show you a few things that uh, you can do with your butterfly that's really cool. Okay, because it is Mother's Day. You want to put some effort into her gift. It's not necessarily about your skill. It's about your effort that you put into it. That's where the heart is, all right? So now we have his body, the butterfly's body right here, okay? We want to make a fold in the wing to where it lines up with the top of his body. You can do it like this, just like I'm doing it where you can see it, or you can hold it like this and fold it down. It's actually, it might actually be easier to do it this way. So I can take that wing, I'm going to bend it, I'm going to line it up with his body, or her body. I guess it could be her body, too. I'm going to do the other wing. So go ahead and do that. It was kind of funny right now. It's kind of jacked up. It was like, hey, we had a butterfly, now we're messing it up. Okay, we're going to fix it. 
and then we're gonna do the other wing the same way. So right there, we're gonna fold it down and so it matches these wings and also lines up with that body. Mostly lines up and matches those other wings. Okay. So now I can go in and I can open it up like this. And now I have a butterfly. All right? It wasn't hard to do. It doesn't take long. It took us about 10 minutes. And that's all my talking. Okay? So I'm going to show you what you can do. This piece of paper here. All right? You can do the same thing with the, that you did with the big piece of paper. Fold it right here. That extra piece that you cut off. And you cut it off like this. Now you can follow those same steps. I have... A butterfly army going on here. So let me zoom back out. Whoop. I have a butterfly army. But look, if you take that little square that you just had right here, you can make tiny butterflies. All right, baby butterflies, however you want to do it. All right, I have another one here. So I'm going to show you some other things that you can do with your butterflies. Okay, one, look, I got one hanging up here. All right, we got a piece of thread and some tape. Hung it up like that. Um, you can go in and you can modify your butterflies, okay? Don't go with what I just teach you and just stick with it. You know, you can break the rules. It's okay. You can change it and make it your own. But here's a butterfly that I colored, okay? And what you can do is, uh, what I did is I even curved the edges. You got these pointed wings, which looks nice. I think they look really cool. Uh, but if you want to give it a softer look, you can color uh, round the wings and color it real pretty however you want to color it. it's your butterfly okay i did one more thing with the butter with this you can do this write your mom a real nice letter she can keep a letter forever okay but put it in the envelope and then add a little butterfly to the envelope okay i just kind of went kind of crazy with geometric shapes okay but that's today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it Make something great for your mother, for your mother on Mother's Day. Love y'all. May God bless all your adventures. Catch you later.